And here is where the film is processed. Every machine ever different process. The old archives, 35 millimeters and some 16. So this is four minutes of film. Pedro Maia, uh, I work with analog film. I've been working in collaboration with musicians for a few years. And we are here in a place where I also work as a freelancer part-time. That is a film lab in Berlin called Andek. I was always really interested of this idea of live cinema. That is, how do you build a film that is not finished and a film that all these factors of playing live that is like the room, your mood, the audience, everything can affect a presentation of a film, can affect, can change the film itself, can change the final output. This idea of, of live cinema is something that I always try to bring to the projects. So I'm a filmmaker and I came from the experimental film background, so for me the screen is always really important. And I, when I do, for example, a live show, I like to think if you take every live element and you just sit in a room watching what I'm projecting, just by itself it works. It can be like an experimental film, because then when you add everything of the live elements, the lights, the musician, the audience, then I think it became really strong. I like this idea of visual music. It's like bringing a visual universe to, like, to a music. How do you translate music into a visual universe? So when I come to a project, my idea is how we can make this a live show and a live film and a performance. The musician playing in front of a screen, yeah, for me it's not enough. So I, and that's why I do everything live, because I like to be affected by all of these elements of when you play live. I can also influence the music in somehow during the shows and that we both work together to create something unique and something that only happens in the same way once. That for me is the most important things about the show, coming from a, from a film background, not a multimedia background. But for me it's always like, is a, the working with someone is, live or not live, is that we create a project that is like an open movie and an open soundtrack that can be presented in many different ways because I'm super interested on this multidisciplinarity of things that when you do a project is not one thing, it's not a music video or it's not a live show. It can be a photo book, can be a exhibition, can be a soundtrack. And I've been working a lot with different projects that is that. It's like, I like this idea that you have a project but you can do, you can present the same project in many different ways. Here in the lab, everything is about to making everything perfect and right. And my work is exactly the opposite of that. It's seven years ago, I was already sending my films here to process and I knew that they exist. 
So when I decided to wanna, I want to move from Portugal, Berlin was the first option because I knew that these places exist and I knew that I have to find a way to get a step inside. I was really interested to know more about film and the better way to know more about film is people that really work with film every day, not as a filmmaker. Because a filmmaker, yeah, you shoot and it's like more a camera and... Uh, con but I was more interested about the, the, the materiality, the, how the emulsion of the film works what you have to do to process, how you can change the steps of the process. So I find this way uh, of being involved and working here as a part-time job doing film scanning and be in contact on a daily basis with, with chemicals, with a film. Working here, it really allows me to have access to this and also for ideas, it's very inspiring to be in a place like this because yeah, it looks like you'll go back in time. But on the other side, I work with this machine, with this film scanner, that is built by the company owner and is high-tech technology. So it's good to be between the two worlds. This is the last lab in Germany. And if you think about it, in Germany is insane because Germany is a big country and they have the repetition of, yeah, of like industry and, but is, this is the last officially running lab in Germany. And then you have one or two in UK and yeah, there is like a bunch of them in Europe. and. These places are really precious because probably this place will not be around forever and one day when it's shut down, the younger generation don't have them because it's 30 years or 40 years of knowledge. These people that have this knowledge about film and about material and about chemicals and about acids and about what you do if you do this and this and about pH, even PhD of the water, room temperature, room humidity, everything is important. So having these people explaining you in a very clear and easy way how things are. It's very, yeah, it's priceless. Usually what I do, I shot on film and I manipulate the films a lot. My process is I, I shot, I scan the, the raw material, I manipulate, I scan, I manipulate more, I, mani I scan, I manipulate more, until almost there is no picture left. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing moving painting because I work with the acids and I work with the film and some, some of the, the, the results I have is, yeah, it's like painting because it's just working with materials. And even sometimes I don't shoot anything, it's just like unprocessed film or I just shoot like uh, a, a, a plain color or just white and then I just make the film react to chemicals and different things and different optical manipulations on the scanning and create this new world of possibilities that you don't have it in, in a normal way of Shooting. I also do a lot of editing, but I, I, even when I'm editing a film now, I always have this idea of the live show. I, my, yeah, my brain works in, because I'm doing so many more shows now, that when I have to make, edit a music video, I think in a way of how I'm doing live. And even sometimes I just put the software and i just playing with stuff, and then I recreate on the editing after. On a live show, usually I have all of these layers of destruction that I can play with, because I do some performance that I use the, 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 the analog projectors as a, the projection tool, but most of the shows, because I'm, I work in both digital and analog work, and I have knowledge in both, but most of the shows I, yeah, I base on a digital output because a lot of festivals you cannot do it with the, the, the film projectors because it's too complicated. I like this idea of when it's gone, it's gone. But the digital allows me to go back in time and to play with time when I'm presenting a show that I can go from really clean, cinematographic, beautiful shot, stage image, to a destruction of the celluloid that you almost don't see anything. Sometimes I like to go back to the premier stage of the shooting to transmit an emotion. And sometimes I like to go to this chaotic destruction exactly to tell the opposite emotion. And with the output I have for the, for the live shows, I can change to one to another in a cut, in overlaying, or I can do, yeah, I can do so many different things. The digital workflow after scanning all of these steps of the working in analog, it really, it really allows me for infinite possibilities of working with the material.
analog is just not the medium for me. It's way more. It's a is an artistic expression. I got really interested on this idea that you work directly on a medium and you can see what you are doing. Because in digital you shoot and it's like it's a it's electric signal that is translated into an image. But with analog film, it's like you really see each frame. The analog films and the celluloid films are really important because it changes a lot and it shifts a lot. The camera is one element of the work. When While I think you shoot on digital, the camera translates into picture, but in the, in the analog work you have the camera and you have the physical medium and you can change that medium. I was really interested on this idea that you cannot see what you shoot. That way you have to trust your instincts. It gives you a freedom that came from something that you don't see it immediately and you cannot repeat the same thing again because it's, it's not that thing that you in digital you can go and you check what you shoot and you look for errors and you fix the errors. In the analog, you, what you shoot is not immediately available. So for me, it was way more interesting to have this as a constraint. It made me more interested. And also, because I did a few, a few works in, in digital, and every time I shot digital, I'm not curious to see the images after because I know exactly how they are. While on analog, you shoot, and sometimes you have to wait a week or two weeks until you see the results. And I think that's more interesting because when I'm in the shooting, then, I have to be really sure what I want to shoot. And even if you want to have like the freedom of improvise, you have to know what you are improvising. For some people it's the opposite. For some people digital because you can shoot whatever you want and you can make longer takes and you can shoot five hours. And, but that for me is the opposite of freedom. I'm not this person like, ah, digital is the no. No, it's like, I like to take the best of both because when I put them together, I think I create something unique and no one is doing it. And that's what I'm interested to do. I don't want to repeat what the other people are doing. Because if they are doing, they are doing well, so I'm not interested to copy anything. Yeah, it's like kind of a signature. And I think nowadays, in, especially in the times that we are constantly being surrounded by everything, I think it's really important to find your signature. That's the most important thing for all the projects I do, is just how can I bring my personal experience and my thing into this. If you use analog film, there is always a certain nostalgia on the picture that I'm not interested. That's why I go and I scan the films in, in, with 4K scanning, like without the most definition I can get uh, available in the market. So you lose this nostalgia feeling that for me is not interesting. It's there and people relate to it, but most of the projects, yeah, that's not what I, I want to communicate something contemporary, something new and something recent and something fresh using old technology. That's why for me it's interesting to work with analog in a digital area. I think we are living really f like weird times because things have to be reinvented. Because, for example, music videos they don't work anymore like they used like they used to work in the past. So I think because of social media, because of a lot of different things, because we are now in a moment that we are constantly being bombed with videos, and so a video, a music video, is not the same tool I was before. There should be options for new gener like the, the younger generation to really try to do these kind of things. More and more now that uh, we are in this world that we are constantly being fed by images, the shows also translate that. People, people get bored really easy. For example, I, I like to do live shows because, for example, if you do a music video, 90% of the people don't see the music video from beginning to end. They go and skip it and say, ah, this and that. When you do a live show, I really especially like because people are there and they are physically there and they have the patience to 
see what you are doing, they can leave, of course, but if you really deliver a good show, people stay. If, if, you, do a, if you do a really good music video for not a big pop artist, people really don't spend the six minutes or the five minutes to go through the music video. That's why for me, my work is changing more to the live than to the film or music video. Because, yeah, it's... In live show, if you do a good show, people stay and people look and people are happy. Yeah, things are slowly changing. I think promoters start to understanding, and especially I can talk about my case. When you deliver a really good, a really good show and they made an effort to put that show, in the future, I think it gets easier, at least for me, to convince them about my vision and of course this translates for the other people because now they people understand okay if you really invest the show become another thing and become something special and i think especially for big festivals they are looking for these special shows because it's something that is always presented there and is unique i think festivals start to have the vision that's important